the thing about Zimbabweans is they're quite camera shy. Um, they're not used to uh, addressing people about politics. It's, it's sort of something that is uh, reserved to inside your household because they're scared. They're scared of secret police. They're scared of government uh, spies. The Central Intelligence Office is something they speak about uh, a lot. Uh, it's probably the most feared Zimbabwean police entity. Uh, but having said that, when the cameras are turned off, we did have a chat with them. And on the face of things, they all say ZANU-PF because that's a safe bet. But uh, after a while, they acknowledge that in the ballot box, they'll probably be indicating elsewhere. And at the same time, the atmosphere is bizarre. Like, people are almost jovial about the elections. They, um, they tease themselves that, that, that this uh, one party, ZANU-PF have been a party for 33 years, that a statesman that is going on 90 years old plans to run the country. They, they almost laugh at their own political matter, but obviously it's, it's, it's no joke. I mean, uh, a lot of them really, this election means a lot to them. Both sides acknowledge that they do need uh, economic reform, but they think that the way to go about it is very different. MDC will argue that Mugabe's uh, extreme measures uh, post-independence were some of the downfall for hyperinflation in the country, whereas uh, ZANU-PF will blame international uh, sanctions on, on, on the current state of affairs. News that moves. ENCA.com.